According to a defense official, the Indian Navy will start receiving the new twin-engine deck-based fighter jets by 2032, that is being developed by the DRDO as a replacement for the Russian MiG-29K fighters, which are scheduled to phase out from 2034. As the Indian Navy will have a second operational aircraft carrier INS Vikrant in 2022, the Navy has now started to revise the global tender for 57 carrier-based twin-engine fighter jets, as the current fleet of 45 MiG-29K fighters are not enough to operate from both carriers. The revised numbers of the tender have not been finalized yet, and it will be met by factoring in the development of indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter as well as the current budgetary constraints. The Indian Navy is currently evaluating the responses to the request for information from Boeing and Dassault Aviation, and an Indian Navy team will soon visit the Maryland U.S. Naval Air Station, to witness a demonstration by Boeing on the compatibility of its F-A-18 Super Hornet Block III with Indian aircraft carriers. The DRDO has started work on the Astra Mark II, which will have a new conventional dual-pulse motor with thrust vectoring control, and a longer range than the 160 km range American name 120D, and the 200 km range Chinese PL-15. While the RDO officials have been tight-lipped about its range, and media reports claim a range of 180 km, the actual range of the Astra Mark II will remain classified. While the development timeline has never been disclosed, it can be safely assumed that the Astra Mark II will be ready before the solid-fuel ducted ramjet propulsion system, which will be used on the 340 km range Astra Mark III in the next decade. India and France were not able to reach an agreement on the retired Mirage 2000 fighters due to price difference, as France was asking $2.5 million for eight fighter jets. The lack of interested parties made the French government to lower the price to $500,000 and increase the number to 11 fighter jets, but India didn't engage with France on the purchase. The Indian Air Force was told that its airframe life had exceeded the limit of 10,000 hours, but the airframe still exhibited a high degree of integrity and reliability, and can give an additional 4,000 flight hours after deep overhaul, but the Indian Air Force decided to walk away after considering the price and additional modernization cost. The private defense sector has asked the central government to remove Hindustan Aeronautics from the 21,000 crore rupees project to manufacture 111 naval utility helicopters, as it has access to government-funded infrastructure and can cross-subsidize the bid through various nominated orders. The companies have said that the private sector has been struggling for orders, and as the deal is reserved for the private sector, the government must provide a level playing field for all private sector bidders including Bharat Forge, Tata Aerospace and Defense, Mohindra Defense Systems and Adani Defense, all in collaboration with a foreign technology provider. The Indian Army's decision to go ahead with a second order of 72,716 rifles from the US is another setback to the private defense industry in India, as it would mean that more than 1.4 lakh rifles will be directly bought from the US without the Make in India initiative. Domestic manufacturers are now placing their bets on the Central Armed Police Forces and Special Forces, besides the export market for their range of rifles and other products. The Iranian government has decided to remove India from the Chabahar rail project collaboration, and will proceed with the construction linking Chabahar to Afghanistan on its own, and has also cited delays from the Indian side in funding the project. It is to be noted, that this development comes as China has recently finalized a $400 billion strategic partnership deal with Iran, which includes Chinese involvement in the duty-free zone of the Chabahar port, a nearby oil refinery and other infrastructure projects. China will also position 5,000 Chinese security personnel to protect its projects in Iran.